Hey Santa, what's up man? What's going on at the South Pole? Hey Lionel, South Pole? Did you forget that Mrs. and I live at the North Pole? But to answer your question, we're pretty busy this time of year. The elves are working really hard making those toys. I'm sorry, you're right. It's the North Pole. So what's up, old timer? What do I owe the honor to for this phone call? Old timer? I might be old, but I can still whoop your- Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy, Santa. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. I'm not trying to end up on that naughty list. Speaking of the naughty list, make me some of that milk. And I'll make sure you end up on that nice list. You must be talking about Santa's milk. <laughs> yeah, Santa's milk. Have some of that special milk ready for me. It's going to be a long night. I'll see you soon. All right, you too. So you heard the big man. The big man wants some Santa's milk. What exactly is Santa's milk? Well, we take a little bit of this. And we mix in a little bit of this, and we got Santa's milk. But we're not going to do store-bought eggnog. We're going to make it from scratch. So hit that subscribe button, and let's get started here on Cook! Don't be lazy! We need approximately a medium-sized pot that's going to hold a minimum 8 cups of liquid. Set your stove to 6. And let's put in 4 cups of milk. That was two cups. Four cups of milk. Some ground cinnamon. And I'm just going to eyeball it this way. I figure half of it's falling in the pot. The other half is falling on my measuring thing one teaspoon ground cinnamon and some vanilla extract we don't want that imitation stuff do not use that imitation stuff I know it's a lot cheaper this is pretty expensive but you want the real deal here a real deal here all right half a teaspoon we're gonna let this come to a Slight simmer, but not to a boil. Be mindful of that. Simmer, not a boil. Now, the last ingredient for this step is whole cloves. I've never worked with this before. It's got a nice fragrance to it. Five whole cloves right into the pot. And the next step, we need some eggs. Twelve eggs. Now on those eggs, we only want the egg yolks. We don't want the egg whites. We need a cup and a half of sugar. And we're just gonna stir this in, whisk it in. It's gonna look kinda like a custard. Maybe this is how you make a custard. I don't know, I've never looked into it, but it looks like a custard. So the next challenge is we need to take some of our simmering mixture and get it in here a little bit at a time. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cup and scoop some out and pour it in. Now the reason we want to do a little, little bit at a time is because if our pot mixture is a little too hot. We're not trying to make scrambled eggs over here. So we need to do a little bit at a time so that we don't cook our eggs. I believe it's called tempering our eggs. So a little bit at a time, stir it up. It's another reason we don't want to boil that milk mixture. Just slightly simmer. Now, as you can see, I'm only barely grabbing any. Not because I want to grab a little bit, but it's 
it's almost empty, so it's hard to scoop most of it out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pour the rest of it in here since just a little bit left. I'm going to stir this in very well. This smells really good. So now I've got another little challenge. Now that this is mixed in, I got to figure out how to get this back in the pot. So let me do it this way. Hopefully I don't make a mess and spill everywhere. Voila! Let's get this back on the stove. Alright, so we're going to bring this back to a simmer. And we're going to stir... We don't want to bring this to a boil, ever, never. We're dealing with eggs here. But we are gonna bring it to a simmer for about three minutes or so. So the slight challenge is we gotta strain it, but it's a little hot and we don't wanna make a mess. So I don't wanna take a chance. So I'm gonna do everything over the sink. So get a pitcher, your strainer, Let's pour the contents in. And if all goes well, we got our cloves out and we got a pitcher of eggnog. We're not exactly done yet. What we need Some half and half. I'm gonna see if I can squeeze in. Four cups of half and half. And no, I can't. Gotta swap this over to a different container. Oops. Much larger container now. Double the size. All right, let's resume. Let's put in the rest of our half and half. We need some more nutmeg, ground nutmeg. Do half a teaspoon. And some more of that vanilla, pure vanilla extract. So this we need about two tablespoons. I shouldn't say tablespoons. That's a lot. Teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Now last but not least, Santa's favorite. That's what make it makes it Santa's milk. Throw in one cup. Anything else, you're gonna risk it being way too strong for Santa. Give it a little stir. So the only thing left to do is we gotta get this guy in the refrigerator for about six to eight hours so that the flavors can infuse with one another. After that, time to plate up. Now we all know I love me some milk, but this one's special. This is Santa's milk. Let me try it. Oh yeah, Santa's gonna be real happy Christmas Eve. Speaking of Christmas Eve, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys next week here on Cook! Don't be lazy!